Hello everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Beauty and the Geek, a new feature here on uh, Big Bang Theory RL. Yeah, every once in a while we like to sort of mix things up and add in new features and change things around. And since most of the stuff that I do is, well, let's say rather serious, uh, I thought that the one I get into some of the lighter stuff, something like, like, like uh, my, my strolls around the uh, beauty community and my involvement in the beauty community, which is a, a lighter basis, uh, let's make something out of this. So this is the uh, first episode of Beauty and the Geek, and to set off our first episode of Beauty and the Geek, uh, I thought I'd do uh, because, the Because of YouTube tag. And it's really because of YouTube that I actually am here. And uh, when I first started out in uh, becoming a YouTuber, that was just uh, a little more than a year ago, uh, I oh, me, came across uh, a contest. And this contest uh, was uh, I think sponsored by L'Oreal, and it was become the next beauty guru. So I created a... Uh, uh, a uh, video, a short segment video that I submitted to the contest called Beauty and the Geek. And it was, it was more of a, 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 it was a silly video. It was, it was uh, how do geeks get ready for the red carpet? <laughs> you know, that type of thing. You know, if you're a geek and you're going out to a red carpet event, how do you dress up? You know, do you put on your cosplay costume and go on out as, you know, as your favorite character or, you know, something like that. Uh, it was it was it was a fun thing, but didn't think much of it, and just sort of went on. But then I was sort of scrolling around YouTube, looking at different communities. I kept popping up and coming by these uh, uh, the beauty gurus, and I don't. If I like a channel that I like, some like like the, I like the person, uh, I'll subscribe. And so I started subscribing to all these different uh, beauty uh, gurus, uh, looking at their vlogs, uh, and so on and so forth. And, and I think. Uh, for some reason, I started becoming identified with the uh, beauty gurus in the beauty community, and just about two months ago, uh, I was contacted by uh, these girls uh, called the Fine Gals, and they set up a beauty channel, and they sort of sent out a uh, mass message to uh, a variety of uh, people in the beauty community. And I was surprised to be uh, one of the people included, because I didn't think that I was that visible in the community. And I said hello, and I, you know, and stuff like that. But I really didn't think that I was that visible in the beauty community to sort of consider myself someone to go buy and review their channel. But they asked me to do it anyway, so well, yeah, I said, okay, let's go buy and do this. And that's when it kind of popped into my head to sort of uh, set up the... Uh, the the uh, beauty check the beauty uh, uh no sorry, set up the uh, segment beauty and the geek uh, and I went back and went to see uh, how I went back to the uh, because of YouTube channel uh, because of the YouTube tag and saw how I actually ended up uh, getting it and I first saw this on uh, the page uh, on the channel uh, it's a uh, Mac Beauty Fashion Girl. Alexander, uh, that was where I first really saw it. But I didn't know what the tag was really about. And so I went to sort of see who else had done the tag. And I got the questions, actually, from one of the other girls that had sort of been recommended on that channel. And that was uh, Casey. Uh, and her name is uh, Spark... Her, her channel is uh, Sparkly Barbie XO. And then from there... I was able to find uh, who actually 
produced it. So I got the questions from Sparkly Barbie XO. That's where I got the questions from. After I had been on Alexander's channel, and then from Ale then from 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 uh, Casey's channel, I went to uh, Stephanie and Lori's channel. They are uh, 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 a brunette duet channel, and they're the ones who were the originators of the tag. So that's sort of the process that I came to in terms of uh, uh, sort of putting together the uh, 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 getting putting together this as part of the uh, uh, because of YouTube tag and having this become the first episode of Beauty and the Geek. And this is sort of, you know, YouTube it, it has these uh, options that, let's say, I guess I am a geek, I don't really, really belong in the beauty community, but I have been around enough that I know what I like and know what I don't like. Uh, like, I know that I like uh, girls who have the more natural look as opposed to girls who pile on the makeup and really looks like they've got makeup on. Uh, there are girls who, when they shape their eyebrows, uh, they'll do a good job at shaping, but some of the other girls, uh, what they'll do is either they'll do it too thin, or the, when they do it, they, the way they shape it, the, there's a bone here. There's a bone in the eyebrow. Right here, there's a bone right here on the, on, on the, uh, on the uh, eyelid right here. There's a bone, and then there's a bone here as well. There's, there's two ridges here. And if you can feel up here, you'll feel the ridges. And the thing is, if you pluck your eyebrows so that the bone here is visible, then, well, yeah, you've sort of controlled the hair there if it's too bushy or whatever. But I haven't really seen what really too bushy eyebrows. Uh, but it, it, what happens is that you start seeing the bone. You start seeing that ridge that comes out and that's, you know, it's, it, it, yeah, you, you shaped your eyebrows and did a good job of shaping it, but you did it too much and now the bone is showing. So, it's your choice. Do you want to have uh, thicker eyebrows or do you want to have your bone, the, the eyebrow bone showing? So, it's, a, it's your choice. My preference is, uh, I, I like more of a natural look. Uh, and so, the way I'm going to go about doing this is maybe sort of look at some of the people in the beauty, beauty uh, community and some of these beauty gurus and see whose makeup I like and whose makeup I don't like. Maybe do a couple of channel reviews. Uh, in other words, basically stroll around. And it's kind of like uh, when you go to high school and you have the kid, uh, the, the table with the cool kids, that's those little busy your beauty, beauty gurus. And they've, they've got their stuff all set up. And basically there's no geeks allowed because uh, as a geek, you're, you'll, you'll end up ruining their social status. But so. <laughs> That's what this, guy, this is kind of the geek roaming around the beauty, uh, the beauty uh, community. So uh, I am on a place. I am not a beauty guru. I'm a geek, and this is sort of my adventures, my uh, uh, strolling around a community that I really don't belong in. But <laughs> anyways. Uh, that's how this, uh, ep these, these episodes are going to go. It's something fun, it's something like the sort of, uh, the track, not only the track, but give an alternative to some of the more serious stuff, sort of balance things out a little bit more. Anyways, that's it for this episode. I think I'll leave it short here like that. This is sort of how I got involved with the, with the, beauty, guru, the beauty, guru, beauty guru community, beauty community in uh, YouTube. This is sort of, because of YouTube, how I am here now with the uh, episode Beauty and the Geek, with the whole series of Beauty and the Geek. And, of course, I'm not Beauty, I'm the Geek, and uh, Beauty is the community that's, that, that's out there. That, and this will be my uh, <laughs> forays and adventures into Beauty and the Beauty community on YouTube. Anyways, have a good day. I'll see you next episode. I'll try to get these up once a week. Uh... And yeah, we'll have some fun with it. Alright, take it easy. Bye bye.
speech rules here at Democratic Earth.